So today I'm going to show you how to set up the mouse trap so that it actually works on this board game. So first thing, undo the board. So basically, you want to get these two in first, and then we're going to pull this across, get those two feet stuck in there, get those in there, and then it should sit pretty, pretty good in there. It shouldn't want to come out. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to take the boot. You're going to put the boot on here, and you're going to place this in there like that. Then you're going to have the stop sign with the rubber band. They give you the clear rubber band so that you can lose it easier. So effectively, you put this here. Then you're going to put the rubber band between this red piece and this yellow piece. That way it can kick the boot. So the next thing you're going to want to do is put the bucket on top of the steps. You're going to take the big legs and you're going to put the nice face out on each of these. So the big legs go in the back and the small legs go in the front. The small legs also have these little round pegs that are going to fit into the board. And the square pegs fit into uh, base one. So I'm first going to put the round pegs in the round big holes and slide it back towards base one and then push in the little squares for the feet back there. Now this I've already assembled, but effectively make sure that the shape of the yellow piece fits with the blue piece. If it's backwards, you'll have a sharp edge with a rounded edge. It won't match up quite right. So I'm going to put the little hook in here. I'm going to put the bucket on this broomstick thing. And then what I want to do is match this up like this, and then this should lock into place so that when the ball hits it, when the ball hits it, it drops down and this thing flings up. All right. So I want to turn that so the nice side is facing away from you. And you have a couple of spots in the board that this fits into. Now this doesn't um, slide into place, it just kind of clicks into place. So the most important part of this is you need this to match up. Okay. Once that's in place, you can take this piece here. This is going to direct the ball. So there's a pin here, here, and a little place here where it fits in. So I'm going to push that down. Push those down, all right. Just setting that trap to keep it out of the way. The next trap, or base three, it should say. So the base three, uh, effectively, you're going to have this contraption, like a bunch of pipes, I guess. And fit that in there, make sure it's good and snug. You're going to take your bathtub and you're going to match that up here. And then you're going to need the piece that allows the ball to fall onto it. So that just matches here with the two places on the pipe and the one on the bathtub uh, to help align it. Then you're going to take the seesaw and you're going to click that in place. And with this, you have these three slots that you need to put uh, the piece in the large side and slide it the other way. We're going to do that now. And then slide that piece underneath there. And there's a little pin that sits into the board as well. All right, so this should move pretty freely. Okay, now we just need to click base two and base three together so they line up right. Okay, so everything looks good. I'm gonna reset that, all right. 
for base four, we have this little piece here, and this is the mouse uh, trap piece. We're gonna set the dunk tank up there, and this little cage needs to gently sit there. When this gets tapped, it all falls down. Now you need the person that jumps into the dunk tank here. You need the ball for the trap. Oop. You need the ball to go here for the trap. And then you're going to take two pieces of cheese, put them on the start. Whoever goes around first gets the pieces of cheese. You get at least two players, up to four players. And then uh, you have your dice. To play, each player will get one piece of cheese to start. If they land on a yellow, they'll get another piece of cheese. If they land on the green, they can steal from the other player. If they land on a red, that cheese goes back to the basically the, the house. And if you land on the mouse trap, let's just say red lands on the mouse trap, red gets to pick another player, let's say green, and they'll go in the danger zone for the mouse trap. So in order to do that, the player would bring back kick it, have the ball go, and you caught the mouse. The green player would then have to give the red player a piece of cheese. So if any player gets a full wheel of cheese, they win the game. If the other players go to zero cheese, those players lose. So there's two different ways to win this. If you land on any tunnels, basically you can go from brown tunnel to brown tunnel or gray to gray. Whoever passes the start first, like gets all the way around the board, uh, they would actually get those two bonus pieces of cheese. Well, I hope that helps. Please subscribe and have fun with your family. Thank you. Have a great day.